Hey, here's something kind of hilarious. Uh, I went to record the segment since I had finished my grinding and whatnot, and uh, I checked I checked them all out, and it turns out I actually didn't finish my grinding. I kind of thought that Vegeta had done like all of his grinding and whatnot. I hadn't even beaten anything down with him. So g that goes to show how awesome my memory is once again. It's kind of stupid. So for some reason I think there might be something special around here. Uh, okay, so that that was kind of random. I guess before we go into the ship, we're gonna have to switch to Goku so we can pick that up with instant transmission. That will only take a few seconds. Then once we're done, we can go into the most tedious sec section of the entire game. Seriously, I really don't like it at all. So... Okay, that was actually pretty good because it led to a Z Fighter exhibit, which is what we need. Okay. So, now that's done and dusted, we can switch back to Gohan. And that's probably the only time you're going to see me controlling Goku for the time being. Also, uh, while grinding for to get Vegeta up to scratch, I picked up some two-ton boots. So they obviously slow you down, and I'm assuming that they give you more experience. I would wear them, except... I really don't want to do that, because there's no point in me grinding in here, I just want to bust my way through this joint. So there should be a save point right at the start here, yep. Because we're going to switch to Vegeta. Vegeta was the first to get, uh, Vegeta took, was the first to get a turn in the anime, like to, f like, at, e at each level. If you, don't, if you don't know what the whole idea about Barbity's spaceship is, is they go down to each floor and they have a fighter that Barbity's taking control of to fight them, and Vegeta gets the first turn. So I'm going to have Vegeta take this entire first section. And there are these really annoying laser turrets. Which, I mean, they're laser turrets, they're really annoying, and they pop out of the ground, and are only harmed when you, yeah, when they're, when they're out of the ground. They're not that much of an issue, though. So now one of my other big problems is how I'm going to be able to generate stuff to talk about for an hour. Because I I don't know I don't think it's gonna take me an hour, but I I pretty much have to prepare to I have to pretty much prepare shit to say for that long. Cause I am gonna go through all this in the one sitting. And I've got some more boots. That is another pair of two ton boots. That's actually pretty cool. Now all I need some two-ton armbands. Can you get me some two-ton armbands? You probably won't, but ugh, it doesn't really matter to me. So, aside from the laser turrets, you've pretty much got your standard fare. Just some mini Yamus, mini Pui Pui's. It's really standard, straightforward stuff. It would be good to have the uh, weighted clothing on, because I could probably get another level up by the time I knock over the enemies in this room. Which are just a bunch more frickin' turrets. Now, if you remember back, now, remember back at the start how I sw flipped that switch? Uh, there's three of them in each, uh, level. We'll just call them levels anyway, so. There's three of them in each level, and I believe in each one there's at least one that needs a sw uh, that, that actually doesn't have a switch, and you actually have to go and find a switch from somewhere. Which is definitely kind of annoying. Um, I'm not actually I'm not sure if I've pointed this out yet, but uh, I went and picked up a few Senzu beans. Uh, these ones, obviously, I didn't I didn't get 255 and then eat 252 of them. Um, if you speed to Yajirobe, he'll give you a couple of Senzu beans. Okay, this one actually has to, still has a switch. And as you can see, yeah, there's three switches that you need in order to gain access to the next to the uh, boss of the level. That's it's pretty straightforward setup, but the fact is you're going through areas trying to find switches and you're pretty much fighting the same three enemies. I mean there are a dis there is a destroyer or two uh, somewhere in the level but aside from that it's really kind of tedious. It's very very pointless. So I don't know. I guess this is where I start thinking of random shit to say like 
um, if you're if you're snowboarding on the beach and all four of your wheels fall off, how many pancakes does it take to cover a doghouse? The answer is purple because ice cream has no bones. I'm actually surprised I remember that. That's just one some random question that picked up on a bus, like, said to end a segment of Fire Red Omega. And it was so random I didn't think I'd ever memorize something as stupid as that is, but evidently I stand corrected if I have to make some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged re re reference. So, there. Yeah. And then I just have absolutely nothing to say for the rest of the segment. Although I do have something to say now, and that is I am going to save. Because I, I made a save state at the start of the segment, so... It shouldn't be that much of an issue. So yeah, here we are at stage one, and Vegeta's kind of pissed off. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I really don't. Uh, lol. So yeah, that's the, uh, Pui Pui. That's, that, this is the guy I named those mini Pui Pui's after. Yeah, stage one. Level one, stage one, it's the same thing. And of course, they each have a boss warrior. And this guy's the weakest. And yeah, like as it, as it was stated, Vegeta gets the first crack with Pui Pui. That is such a stupid name. Yeah, this is hilarious. Ten times that of the Earth. Now, if you've watched the anime, if you've wa if you've watched the anime, the whole of the anime up until this point, you'll know that is absolutely nothing that Goku and Vegeta can't handle. And, yeah, he's just sitting there. So, first thing we do is scan him. Yeah, he has 50 HP. This is... Seriously. <laughs> it's the most pathetic boss ever. Seriously, I consider it to be even worse than the Emperor Bulblax in Pikmin 2. Like, if you see my LP of that, of that game, you'll know the Emperor Bulblax in the first game was just this massive boss thing. Wait till you see my Pikmin 2 LP. I'm just gonna... The... I... You, you can pretty much expect me to just lob a, a shit of purples on it, and then it just immediately dies. Because that's what can happen. That's how badly they nerfed that thing. It's just... Oh my god. It's not even a shadow of its former self, not even worthy of that title. And now that I think about it, I have to switch characters now. Silly mate. Oh well. Level 85 is pretty round about uh, to finish up on. And so yeah, now Goku takes the second stage. As we can see here. That's annoying. The reason why I think this is going to take more than one segment is the last part. Because I know the last part for an absolute fact. Uh, requires you to search for uh, switches to actually place into these machines and yeah do all that funky shiz and ooh armbands are they the two tunners indeed they are so I have a, two, a set of two ton armbands thank you for giving me my, my armbands and a couple of what are these are these demon masks I'm pretty sure they're demon masks yeah they're both them Sorry about that. They're both demon masks. It's weird. They just look nothing like demons. They kind of look like uh, Walter Cronkite's face if it was like cast out of gold and like, yeah, if it was cast out of some kind of gold and silver and shit. I don't know. It's just there. Yeah. Alright, so level up. Hello. Uh, what's up here? one of these things. It's just got money. How much have I got? Okay, nearly 20,000. That's not bad. Alright. Oh, God. Yeah, these guys, they've got the shields. This guy didn't really sh use his shield that well. Basically, uh, these guys have shields. Uh, if you hit him while he has the shield active, it does no damage to him, 
but if you hit him enough times, if you hit the shield enough times, he loses the shield. And I just picked up a snorkel. Yeah. Snorkel helps me catch better fish. But I'm not a high enough level to do it. I have to level up one more. Which is not that hard to do because, yeah, I just gotta kick this thing. Yeah, it's beat this turret and I've got that level up. There's, I'm pretty sure there's one, yeah, there's one uh, fishing item for each, like, section. The accessories contains a snorkel, the body is the wetsuit, uh, the feet is the flippers, obviously, and the hand is just a pair of scuba gloves. And yeah, the more of those you wear, the more likely you are to encounter Red Snappers. And Red Snappers, you trade into Corrin and he'll give you the uh, holy water, like super, yeah, holy water pretty much. And that uh, gives you invulnerability for I think 30 seconds. I think I've said this before, but uh, I've said it now and I'd rather not go and bloody redo the segment because I said something that I already said. That would be stupid. Okay. And these things are kind of... Actually, I haven't even scanned those things yet, so... Uh... Yeah, still have not shown off the fact that I can destroy those shields. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Eventually... Okay, that was a bad idea as well. I'll just have to... You know, I'll just have to wait until I have... I just have to wait until it happens and be cautious and be very observant as to when it does so that I don't forget about it or like if I ha if I'm if I'm got if I'm trying to say something and then it just happens and then I'd, I'd rather not have to interrupt my thing. Oh god. Yeah, these things I don't know why we're giving them shields. Yeah, see right there. I just destroyed his shield. Destroying his shield pretty much turns it back into a regular thingy, which we've already seen. Alright, so that gets us access to the stage 2 boss, which, if you know what it is, then... Okay, awesome. I did 329 damage with that one hit. I can never look at 329 the same again after Michael Clark scored that much in the uh, Sydney Test against India. And it was really annoying. I don't know if I've told this story before, but uh, like, when I like the day before he got it, he he made it. He, the, the day before he made it to the 300, he finished it on 251 not out. And I was like, I don't think he's going to reach that 300. I decided, and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm starting to think maybe maybe he will. Unfortunately, I got dragged into a trip to Dreamworld the following day, like the theme park, not the Pokemon Dreamworld. Um, and it turns out he did score that century, which pissed me off. But that actually pretty much... But, like, when I found out about that, I was already pretty much ropeable because I had the worst day I ever had at a theme park. It was hot. It was just absolutely disgusting and I ended up in a really heated argument with my sister and it was really annoying and I just I just pretty much walked out and yeah we're in this place yeah uh, Barbody did this in uh in for the first boss as well but since he was that unremarkable they just decided not to now uh this is Yarkon Yeah, this is actually this is hilarious. You can see it quite clearly. However, this is actually the planet of darkness. There is absolutely no form of light on this planet, and yet, where's this? Now, just to keep in the theme of uh, the anime, I am going to transform. Power to absorb energy, not just any energy. He has the power to absorb light energy, and he just stabbed the crap out of me, and he is the- he, yeah, he's kind of got a really retarded- Yeah, that. That's kind of weird. I don't recall him ever doing this in the anime. But yeah, he's kind of got these mini Yarkons. And... Okay, be Beating him is being a bit annoying. Alright. Come on. Uh, 
Okay, there was five of them. Where the hell? Yeah, you just came from nowhere, did ya? Didn't ya? Come on, quit blocking. And he does... Oh my god. I am not doing anything to him. What in the world? I am seriously doing jack shit to him. Is it because he's like... Absorbing my light energy... It's got to be something along those lines, because at this rate, I'm not going to be killing him anytime soon. And, th and yeah, this is getting really kind of tedious. See, look at that. It's pointless. He blocks sometimes, in which I only do, like, two damage. But even the critical did two damage. That's bad. Now, unblock, goddammit. 17 damage is better than two. Because this is getting really tedious. I'm just mashing the crap out of my Z key. Oh god. This is so stupidly tedious. But I think I'm gonna kill him. I'm blocked so I can kill you faster. Yay! That was so tedious, but it was so broken because I just kept punching him and punching him and then, yeah. It just kind of went one-sided. So now that that's done, Goku will go back to his regular form. And upcoming now is the reason why this was not going to take... I wasn't going to... It's the reason why I'm not doing this in one segment. Alright, so we got this. We have hamburgers. Which are all so which are all pretty good. And then we just do some stuff with Gohan. Kick some ass, get the level up, take names, blah blah blah. Uh yeah. And we got a destroyer, of course. And he's really inconveniently placed because yeah, you pretty much have to walk through the fire in order to attack it. Come on, because I didn't, because, yeah, I kind of didn't save before, before going into this area, which is really annoying. Um, actually, now that I think about it, yes, I'll go back, I will save, and then I will eat each, eat a couple chicken legs. Alright, that shouldn't be a problem, now I'm nice and healed because I've got a shit loaf of food. These things just love holding onto hamburgers. Like, if I had a hamburger in my hand, I would not put it in a in, in my bloody pants pocket to eat later. Like, goddamn. Seriously. It's a goddamn hamburger. That'd be bloody scoffed. That'd be bloody scoffed within bloody minutes. Well, seconds, really, but, eh. And I'm getting punched. And all that healing pretty much was rendered useless. By my luck, that's probably a hare's foot, not a rabbit's foot. Oh, god damn it. Alright, Kamehameha. Good thing I got that level up, because, yeah, that was definitely needed. I didn't want to waste any more of my food. I didn't even know if Gohan's cons buddy consumed the lunch that he had. He was given a rice bowl and uh, milk. Yeah. This does not have a switch. So I cannot utilize it at all until I find one. That's the reason why I can't really do much at this mo at this moment in time. And I'm up to 19 minutes on this first segment. Of course, I did say that I'm going through it non-stop. So, basically, I'm just going to cut at around about... Uh, I don't know if I've already cut it. I probably already have. If I haven't, then... It won't be too far from being cut anyway, so... Yeah...